In the Miller's Tale, in the Canterbury Tales, Chaucer notes that the company, especially the gentlefolk, enjoyed the knight's tale. Harry Bailey says it is the monk's turn to tell a story. The miller, who is drunk, says he has a story to tell about a carpenter and his wife. Chaucer warns this tale may not be to the liking of those who prefer morality, good breeding, or saintliness. The miller's tale proceeds. An old carpenter named John takes a student as a lodger. The student, Nicholas, is clever and charming. John's wife, Allison, is young and pretty. One day, Nicholas makes advances to Allison. She promises that they can meet later. <laughs> a young parish clerk, Absalom, also desires Allison and hopes to win her love with gifts. But she is in love with Nicholas. Nicholas and Allison make an elaborate plan. Nicholas pretends he's had a biblical revelation that there will be a terrible flood. He advises stocking three tubs with provisions and hanging them up with ropes, so when the flood waters rise, they can just float away. The carpenter believes Nicholas and makes preparations. When John falls asleep in his tub, Nicholas and Allison sneak out of theirs to have sex. Meanwhile, Absalom goes to the carpenter's home to see if he can get a kiss from Allison. He says he will go away if she'll just give him a kiss through the window. It is dark, and as a trick, she sticks out her <laughs> naked behind. He kisses it and is enraged with this trick. He goes to the blacksmith and gets a hot iron to bring back to Allison's. This time it is Nicholas who sticks his bare buttocks out the window to get in on the trickery, only to be branded by the hot iron. All the uproar wakes the carpenter, and his tub falls crashing through the house all the way down to the cellar. This tale is an example of Fablio, a humorous story that usually features sexual shenanigans and outlandish tricks. Normal moral codes are temporarily suspended in tales like these. Allison, a young beauty who agrees without much persuasion to have sex with Nicholas, is presented as a contrast to the virtuous Emily in The Knight's Tale. Social class is a point of contrast in this tale, too. Two young men of the emerging middle class of clerks, scholars, and teachers compete for her love. Dramatic irony is used, in which the reader has important information not known to the characters in the story to increase the tale's comedic effect. Allison and Nicholas are planning an affair, but the carpenter does not know. The sudden fall of the carpenter in his tub is the unexpected final straw. This revelation about the outcome for the carpenter may elicit laughs in some and stir sympathies in other readers, leaving them to wonder whether the joke was really funny after all.